Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You are now in tune to the Cognac Boys Podcast, Season 3, Episode 3. And we're live on the road on the way to Alabama. Star Dome, Henry Welch, Mike Epps. It's about to go down, people. Fasten your comedy seatbelts. We are not playing no games. The voice you are hearing right now is Cognac Boy Fredo Davis. And this is Cognac Boy Ron the Dunn. And we ain't come to play the music. We came to get busy this weekend, fellas, ladies, shrimps, yeah, poo putts, and scallywags, and whoever. Hey, man, it's, it's playing how to how to ass roll through your, your fingers and shit when you're hitting the chick from the oh. back. Man. That was oh, yeah. hilarious. We're going to get to that. We're going we're gonna to get that <laughs> later in the Nigga, show. that was hilarious. The, the, this, 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 this episode right here, uh, what we're going to talk about, because we, we went through a lot of topics and stuff. Uh, we was geeking at uh, Gilly the Kid and his uh, brother, man. What's his brother's name? Wallow. Wallow. Okay. They were talking about if you caught your girl cheating, what would you do? Which was an interesting topic because them niggas couldn't get past it because both of them niggas in love with some beautiful women. And them two niggas, they, they couldn't picture another nigga with their old lady. But the shit was funny because the nigga said, what if you walk in and catch your girl and men action, the nigga hitting your girl with a baby leg. And the nigga be like, man, get the fuck out of here. Hit your girl with two more pumps. And then he, Gilly, <laughs> Gilly, Gilly was like, yeah, that's disrespect, yeah. Yeah, it's disrespect. It's disrespect already for a woman to be fucking in your house. First of all and foremost, let's get that out there. There'll be no disrespect on it on, on that level with any woman that I mess with. Because if you disrespect me like that, I'm going to check you so hard, you're going to wish you would have never met me. Simple as that. Should I just tell him to finish? You gonna yeah, you yeah. gonna sit there and nah, watch a nigga nah, nah, bury nah, a baby nah, leg nah. in your girl? Nah, I tell them to finish and then leave and then I burn the house down. You would have the patience to sit there and listen to a nigga stuffing your girl turkey and you gonna tell her to leave. I You're gonna go through so much psycho crazy I shit. I bet they won't make it out their house. Oh, okay. You talking like you was gonna nah, let I them leave? I was gonna let. I was gonna set the house on fire. Oh, with them in it. Yeah, I was gonna burn that <laughs> motherfucker. I was like, shit, fuck it. Fuck that nigga then. So, I'm gonna goddamn just leave and, you know what I'm saying, and get downstairs, light the door, and set that bitch on fire. Hey, man. Move back, go to back to Virginia. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't tripping. I ain't going back to Virginia, bro. It's too much opportunity. I went to Virginia, stayed out there for a week. I definitely got depressed. I stayed in one room all day. Come yeah. out, go eat. Go to the store. My mom cooking and shit. They just well, got a new no kitchen. Ain't no opportunity in prison. Ain't no opportunity there. I burn the goddamn house down and get the hell on. Who, who I think I think if anytime somebody go crazy like that, I don't think you should just. I mean, fuck calming down. Go all the way out. The police pull up, shoot at them too. Why not? I got kids. Nah, I mean, you already killed two people. I mean, they ain't gonna catch me though. They don't know who did it. I mean, well, hey, ain't like none of your paperwork and nothing in that house. You talking about an old lady that you love and trust and been with for a while, nigga. Hey, let's let's get this straight. First of all, I don't trust a soul. Yeah, and I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even like this topic. This shit irks me and does something to me. Why? Because, I mean, I don't, I don't like bitches to play that game. I don't like bitches being in a nigga house. I don't even like when bitches invite me over to another nigga spot. Or if a nigga got a key to that spot and you bite me over, bitch, you playing with the devil. But if, would you go, though? Keep nah, up, nah. Not now, not now, not now, not all the shit I got going on. She you up and she said, look, she bad as shit, right? I'm talking about she like, you already this, you already did bust up one time. You like, you like fucking and shit. She was like, hey, my man going to work. Come through. Nah. Too risky. Well, she sent you some pictures. That's good. Pictures is better. Bust off, go about my day. So you'll turn that shit down. The bitch gotta come to me, man. I'm forever been on that shit. I forever from since I've been young, bro. Half the time I got caught out there, ain't no worse than being in a bitch house and a nigga. You gotta hide in the closet till this nigga leave, and this nigga his dope in the closet, the same closet you hiding in. That was me. <laughs> what you doing? I was in here. Uh, I left a coat over here. <laughs> Who the fuck you gonna explain to at that point? Somebody man, got to die. If man, I go, you got to go. Somebody got to die. Man, I hit this chick. Uh, this 
chick, man, who was kicking it and shit. I knew she had a dude, but I like I ain't know that they live together. You know what I'm saying? I think yeah. they stayed in separate spots. God damn it. She was like, one day we were chilling because we met at her friend house. I met her through, you know what I mean? My partner was fucking with her friend. Mm-hmm. God damn it. You know, she liked the nigga. She from New York. Man, this chick said, well, you want to go to my crib? I was like, yeah, shit, that's cool. Man, we had went to her crib, man. Listen, man. I was hitting it from the back, man, and then I noticed, like, all the pictures was down. <laughs> like, everything, all the pictures was down or turned around and shit. The nigga was in the military and shit. He was down oh, there. Yeah. All them bitches in the military be hoes, man. Man, listen, man. I was tearing her ass up, goddammit. Then I, like, look and I seen a goddamn picture of her and her goddamn dude over the bed like that. Wow. Over the bed. Oh, man. He looks so. He looked like such a nice guy. He is a nice guy. That's why she getting fucked right now. Yeah, damn. How do you even begin to respect a bitch like that, bro? Hey man, I know that pussy was 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 wetter than that shit was wetter than pop bubbles. That pussy was wet. God damn it. Throwing, just throwing that thing back and everything. Just yeah. like Sluts. getting loose. You know what I'm saying? Get loose. But my thing, man, like you know. I just don't want to deal with them type of women, bro. And, like, you know, if, if, if you open for that shit, I mean, so be it. But that ain't my cup of tea. I don't even like to fuck with a bitch for a while and be like, God damn, you had a horrible history. You know what I mean? Every bitch got history. It's just on what you can stand. I, I feel like it's how she do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say a chick, she had, let's say she started fucking, she 18, she about 30, 29. She had what ten? Let's say, let's say hypothetically speaking, she had 10, 20 partners, right? You know what I mean? Like, did she have three or four of them niggas in the same day or the same week? You know what I'm saying? Took breaks out. Like, like it's high, high chick let. Like, if a chick let two niggas fuck her, bro. I can't deal with that chick. Like, if a chick then had two niggas smash her at the same time, I don't want nothing to do with it. My old lady can tell me right now that. She got smashed back in the day by two niggas. Oh, I would di- I would break up with her right then and there. That's it. Over with. I don't even want to fathom that thought of two niggas hitting a bitch I'm in love with. You there you go. Used car ass bitch. Exactly. I'm good on that shit. You let two niggas, and then, then you know, this the new generation when they say shit like, but still, she probably was hungry. She just like big. <laughs> like, man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like they don't, they don't excuse that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I ain't saying the woman can't do it, but I don't condone it. Yeah. And that's what men got to get back to. Like, nigga, if you don't condone that shit, you don't condone it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. she got her standards and shit. Why she can have standards, but I can't. Oh boy, you better hit that pussy, man. Fuck that. Women gon' they gon' fuck like man fuck all. Hey, you like, can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Don't ever think you can, nigga. Some hoes are some hoes are only hoes because they don't know no better. And you could turn a housewife into a hoe though. You could turn a you could turn a hoe into a housewife. Some you women can't don't marry want, no hoe. How, no hoe. Bro, I'm telling you. You can't marry no hoe, bro. But niggas marry hoes all the time. That's why they get their heart broken. Yeah, but it, it depends on the hoe. You gotta listen to the whole story. The you know whole story. The whole story. You know what I'm saying? She, she, if she open up to you and she, she get her demons out with you, she might can be a good wife. You know what I'm saying? Cause she, she like felt like I, I felt like nobody loved me. I, you know what I'm saying? Like that be, be shit. I be talking to strippers and shit about. Yeah, I used to do this. I used to do that. But I felt like nobody loved me. But the one thing I would ask beforehand is, did two niggas hit it at the same time? <laughs> That's a that's a that's a deal breaker. I don't give a fuck. I had a shorty that told me just for having a conversation with her, whatever she was going through in life at this point, she didn't want to have uh, what's her name frivolous sex or empty sex or whatever this shit she was saying or whatever she was portraying at this time. Right while I'm dating her, I'm listening to her story, and she was like, "It was a time I was just heartless. I would bring different dudes in my house, and my mom be like, you all right?'" It was like, nah, I ain't gonna be around in the morning, so why introduce him to you? 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, she was doing her. So, I'm listening to these stories, and I'm like, somewhere there's something in here I know I ain't, I ain't going to like. So, if I keep asking questions, I'm going to soon to find out. So, I could date this after this date. Yeah. I don't need to date her no more because I know it ain't going nowhere. Because you the type of chick, you done fuck your shit, your history so fucked up. When I get you, then I don't want to be with you. Then you going to want to fight me. Bite, scratch, and kick me and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I could tell that early on. You know what I mean? I don't like to deal with women that's jealous of me or jealous of what I got going on, jealous of my work. Stay in your place, stay out my business, and just love me for me. That's how I am. But, like, with, with women, why, like, why is it okay, like, for them to put their hands on people and people, like, oh, this funny? You know what I'm saying? But when you put your hands on a woman, even if she hits you first, oh, you wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, why Like, why you feel like you could just put your hands on people and not get hit back? That's a problem in itself. That's in a sense of entitlement. You get what I'm saying? And my Entitlement mom, is a disease, I will repeat, my brother. One thing my mom told me is, if a chick hit you, hit her ass back. Knock her ass out. And I tell my son that shit, too. My kid, I tell him, motherfucker. Hit her ass back And it hurt me to be like Damn like yeah You gotta do that But Cause I don't hit women I don't hit women either But I'm I don't, not I don't the shit women, out of a bitch I t- I've been hit before By women And I ain't hit them I've back I've been beat I've been beat That's what I'm saying I ain't hit their ass back You know what I'm saying Except for one time How many times are you supposed to get your ass whooped Before you just, exactly. You got a right to defend yourself Now if she knocked me the fuck out now I'm old. Yeah, you got knocked out by a girl. What police have a woman beat on, and the police ain't fuck up? There you go. Every video you ever seen the police being these bitches shit. Yeah, yeah. Come on now. I'm just being honest, man. I don't her, deserve to get beat. He punch her in, the sh- in her shit and goddamn put a finger over her mouth shh, while she snooze to the ground. Huh? <laughs> I don't. I don't. You like. Certain situations and certain uh, people pass make them violent, violent in certain relationships too. Like me, I tell a woman when I meet her, don't put your hands on me. I'll never put my hands on you. If you disrespect me, I'm gonna disrespect you. I'm big on respect. I don't. Women don't, not big on balance though. And a bit, and, and God forbid, if a bitch ever spit in my face, the way I'm gonna fold her lips up, they'll be stuck to her teeth. Like, I don't play that shit. Don't disrespect me. I ain't going to disrespect you. I'm not going to be out here all fake and phony like, I'm going to love you, baby. I'm going to rub your hair. I'll never do this. And, no, don't bring that shit to me. Man, I, I had a chick spray me with mustard one time. Mm-hmm. Bitch came to the door and shit. Had a bottle of mustard behind her shot. Hung up on him. You cheat on him? Man, I ain't cheat on him, but yeah, I hung the phone up on him. We got to argue. God damn it. Next thing you know, I hear the doorbell. Come on. I got damn open the door. I was looking like, oh yeah, you know, like I'm like, yeah, what's up? Like I, I think we finna have some makeup sex or something. This bitch Once rip the out a, get a hold of the mic. Finger. You all this they bitch want. This bitch had some organic <laughs> mustard, bro. That's good. At least you respect your uh, whatever that your whatever your nationality nah, or your religion. This bitch what? had some some organic. Cause you or, only eat organic. Nah, I, I only only eat organic. But she pulled out the organic mustard. And spray that bitch, man. That shit burnt my goddamn eyes so oh, bad. Oh, boy. At least she was respectful. Then, then she started teeing off on me, right? But I was goddamn, you know, moving around what and shit. What was Pookie at, nigga? And slipping. He was locked up. Ah, shit. But, Pookie would have stole him. Sent look, him back out the door with a speed knot. Nah, nah. This chick funny and shit because my cousin Tay was there and shit. That nigga was scared as fuck. He didn't know what was going on. He was behind the jump. Just listening and shit. Just like that. God damn it. And... The chick couldn't hit me and shit, right? So I pushed her out because she was in the doorway. Pushed her ass out, shut the door and shit, trying to get the goddamn mustard out of my face, right? Man, I look outside, man, that bitch run into my goddamn car. <laughs> I would have fired a man, shot or two. No, this bang, bitch, bang. no, listen. She broke my windshield wipers with my bare hands. <laughs> and I was looking like, I was blown away, man. I was actually kind of scared. <laughs> yeah, she would have fucked you I up. I was ain't gonna scared in the motherfucker. I was nah. like, yo. Hey, let me tell you something. What made me very fucked up, too, is I've been in a, a fucked up relationship. And the girl, you know, I couldn't do nothing to never calm her down. When she snapped, 
She snapped. The bitch headbutt me in my nose and my mouth. I never forget it. That burgundy blood, nigga. Dripping off my shit. I'm mad as a bitch fucking with this little evil ass. Whatever she was at the time. Spawn of Satan. Nigga, it's nothing. Like, she just the one that bleached my clothes and shoes, cut up all my ball caps with the ball caps. I had just got a lick on all them, uh, the, uh, what's the name? Ball caps. What's the shit? The end with the NE on the side? What's the shit called? New Era. New Era's ball caps, starter shits. I had all the snapbacks. Man, I can't on one. Well, she did some shit. I told her, we was at the club together. And I told her, yo, shorty, chill. Stop drinking so much, yo. You know what I mean? You out with me. You on my watch. You know what I mean? Chill. The mom gonna be looking at me funny. You drunk, falling all down, sleeping in the hallway and shit. Looking all crazy and shit. Don't tell me what to do. I'm fucking grown. Don't talk to me like that in the club. Raising your voice in front of people, bitch. And all you hear is, don't talk to me like that. I'm grown. Because the DJ was twitching the record. So now I'm embarrassed. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, she takes it upon herself, get the fuck out of my face, screams at me. I feel the spit speckles, so I take it upon myself, let's go outside and talk. Next thing you know, she smacks me into the future. She smacked you in the future, bro. Smacked me into the future. Uh, Odal witnessed this, because Odal had to get me to the house so I could go get my stuff. I had to take the fire escape upstairs and got down, go through the, uh, the, the uh, emergency uh, window jank. And get in the crib and go get my shit. And I could grab what my little arms could hold. A couple of nice pair of shoes. A sad. couple of hats. No. I was <laughs> leaving her. I was leaving with her. I was done. I was done with her. So Man, was you was looking sad. You was looking like this. And I, what I did was, once uh, I came back down the fire state, I threw what I could throw in the car. And I uh, ran back up and tried to get uh, uh, my hats and shit. I forgot my hats. All the brand new hats. She cut all that shit up. All that shit. She shut that shit up. Sat there, sat there, and told, nah, nah, I ain't care. It's materialistic yeah. shit. As long as you got your life, you can walk away from a relationship, be happy. Yeah, he should have, he stone cold stunned that bitch for you guys. Nah, she good, she got that shit. That shit don't even mean nothing now. They would have gave that shit to the homeless eventually. But my thing is, man, when it comes to relationships, you, you take on what you can bear. And uh, dealing with women, it's certain, they'll show you warning signs early on that you don't have to deal with. If you get too many red flags, that ain't your cup of tea, bro. And a woman that, like, just feel like you disrespect her and she want to keep doing shit to disrespect you, you don't have to stick around for the disrespect. So, you know what I mean? Toxic women. Yeah, it's a new day and time, man. Get the fuck on. Go live your life to the fullest. Stay in shape. Stay shopping. Looking sharp. And looking good, man, for the next bitch. You know what I mean? And don't treat her like the ex bitch. You know what I mean? You know, we was a lot of us was raised by toxic women, though. Yeah, that toxic women thing goes a long way, man. And let me tell you something. What I seen, though, a woman that only got other women behind her in the family, and they always... And none of them got no baby daddy. There ain't no man standing around them because they push a man go. away. Oh, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a, a reoccurring effect of that. Like, with that woman, she don't got no man, don't know how to treat no man, won't bow down to no man. Fuck this nigga, he doing this and he doing that. You don't got no staying power with a man to uplift that man, talk it out with that man, build with that man, to build a better future with that man. Only when they happy can they do that. And what what makes them happy? My money? I'm just Spending saying, my money any kind of way you want? If you can only uplift your partner when you're happy, you're a weak-ass partner. Yeah, so the Holly women be talking about how strong they is and they did this shit by themselves. Oh, the dude wasn't doing this, he wasn't doing that. Uh, he, did, he did this and he did that. You know what I mean? Oh, you ain't do this because he ain't do that. That makes you weak. Like, if you with a person that you don't want to lift up, you weak. Why you even with that person? You know what I mean? Oh, he ain't, he wasn't working, so I ain't uplift him. That's the time to uplift the nigga. Not uplift him while he making 120 grand. A, like, anybody can do that shit. Shit, oh, he making good money. So, yeah, you, y'all happy, but a real woman uplifts the man, yeah. whether they fucked up, you know what I mean? Let me tell you something. At my up. lowest point in life, I met a beautiful girl, and we dated for a couple of years and shit. Everything was cool. She never knew too much about me, but she knew it was something about me, right? I never showed her my jewelry, none of that shit. Car, she saw my crib. Yeah. 
she knew it was something about me then. It's like, how the fuck? He got this. And like, my car had got wrecked, total shit. All that shit, whatever. Neither here nor there. But she fucked with me to a point because I was at a low. But I was a good nigga. You can't take that away from me. As long as I keep a smile on your face. I ain't dogging you out being disrespectful. Boom. Now, I see this woman has an alter ego. You're disrespectful sometimes and don't uplift niggas and won't help me. If a bitch won't help me when I'm sick, fuck you, ho. There you go. I mean that shit. The day I get sick, you ain't. Can I get you some soup or but crackers or something? your life's supposed to stop when she's sick. You're I'm, supposed to call out for work when she's sick. Let me tell you something, bro. I had a bitch step over me when I was sick one time. I never forgive that bitch or ever do anything for that bitch. You hear me? I don't. I don't care. And y'all, like I'm gonna say on this episode, excuse me for using so many words, bitches. But I'm dealing with a lot of bitches in my circle right now. I'm getting the bitches out of my life and out of my circle, uh, so I can use the proper words or whatever goes there. But I speak. It's not no proper words if that's a bitch. I mean, I'm like, speaking from the woman, angle of my anger. I know, right now when I keep if saying a bitch. Woman is offended by you saying bitch, which most that bitches means are. She's a bitch. There's a bitch in them. You know what I mean? I like that nigga the other day, uh, gang said in some song. It was like, it was me and my, it was my son and my bitch going down the L.A. script. Some shit. That's his bitch. That's and, his bitch. Yeah. Well, and, check and, this out. If if a, if some chicks is um, let's say some chicks is talking and they like, he like, yeah, I was with this old, I was, you know, I was with this fuck nigga. I was with this fuck nigga. Yeah, these fuck niggas, let me tell you, these fuck niggas, they describing somebody who has wronged them or they feel like they wronged them. Nobody's going to check you for that. Nobody's going to say, oh, you need to respect me and, and stop saying fuck nigga. No, they're going to allow her to express herself and say what the fuck she want to say. Yeah. So I say that to say this. Man, if you describing a bitch, describe that bitch. Right. If you feel like you riding down the street with your bitch, Riding down the street with your bitch, it That's mean right. what it mean to you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I know what sweet a, home what a Alabama. We here Alabama. Oh shit, Alabama. You put the goddamn seatbelt on the Alabama. Yeah. You're like we need an, an excuse to to pull those niggers over. Niggas fly. <laughs> what did you, what did you say, bro? Them niggas fly. Them niggas fly right now. Nigga, young, yeah, the other nigga like a superstar. Hey, nigga, what you do? Come on now, talk to me. I play basketball. Nigga, nigga, you like one of them NFL niggas. What you do, nigga? I play basketball. But I don't do shit. Fuck these white hoes, snort cocaine, and talk to niggas like you when you pull me over for nothing. Yeah. Yeah, put your hands behind your back. Yeah. <laughs> you do not speak to the authorities with any authority in your voice. Yeah, I, I ever told you a story when my mom and my dad got to fight. I think you did. You talked about it on the podcast before. No, I didn't. But when she put I don't the know. On. Yeah, you talked about the story. I know. You said he ain't had no bullets in the gun. Yeah. She, See? Give me the gun. Nah, she killed that nigga. Hey, she fired, she fired that whole time, though. That's scary. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. She killed that nigga. Anytime a bitch point a gun nah, or take out a knife on nigga, you. I'm telling you, that shit was surreal. Because when she pointed that gun at that nigga, Man, he thought that bitch was loaded. Everybody thought it was loaded. She clicked wow. that bitch three times. That nigga felt every shot. Man. Shot that nigga three times. I'm talking about that nigga felt it. Bah! 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 That nigga fell out and everything. Was had his eyes closed. And then came back. Bitch, you! <laughs> bitch, you trying to kill me, bitch! It was the psyche, though, to seeing that gun. Yeah, survive. we was like, damn, no. He killed his ass. That nigga ain't getting no respect after that. Damn, she literally killed that nigga so. Wow. <laughs> it wasn't the same no more. Hey, right, man. I don't like those type of relationships. When she whip out, she had to end her rope. She right. pull out a knife, anything. I almost been stabbed. Well, I got, I, you know, I got grazed one time in my, my prime. You know what I mean? I got ran up on with a butcher knife. That bitch would have stabbed me in the chest and went out my back. Because I was a small frame dude back then. I remember that crazy bitch. Man, I, I, how would a person with a knife is a, is a dangerous dude to I me? Mean, I don't give a fuck if it's Woman. a little kid. No, nah, it's a dangerous dude. If you um, pick up a butcher knife and you coming at me, I'm executing your ass in any 
It's either you or me. Fuck that girl shit. All that. It's, it's it. You gonna have to call your brother. I'm finna knock your shit loose, loose. And I'm gonna stump you out when you're on the ground. I'm neutralizing your ass. And I, I go to jail for it too. Fuck that. Stomp that bitch all in her goddamn face. I'm talking about for real. You tried to you tried to kill me. With a butcher knife? Nah, I ain't going out like that. No, sir. Bitch, you finna get your ass real. You finna really get your ass real. Uh Cognac Boys Podcast, we do not uh Specialize in domestic violence We want all your brothers and sisters To keep your hands to yourself As the podcast goes on I want you to know These views are not brought to you By the Cognac Boys Podcast Because nobody has been drinking any liquor These views are brought to you solely Off the shit that you women have done to men And that we have witnessed as youth To bring the story forth To your ears today So you know, that's what we're talking about On the Cognac Boys Podcast today and I guess this is a spinoff of what, what black love and not enough black love for the black man. Uh, I, they, they, I seen some shit two. where they talking about uh, it, uh, women in Atlanta. Women in Atlanta uh, are be, are being single more. There's more single women in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, than it is women who with somebody. And I was like, that's some bullshit because yeah, all, of, all the fellas is in a relationship. <laughs> yeah. Every nigga I know is in a relationship. Uh, all the females I know, even if you go up my Facebook timeline, yeah. all these niggas they got girlfriends and shit like that. All the chicks, all they do is play. Uh, when myself, when I find my soulmate, um, my soulmate probably in Toys R Us with some bitter bitches' kids or some shit. Wow, they always saying some bullshit like that. Like they, they, they when when the guy when Jesus sent me my man. Bitch, Jesus ain't sending your ass no fucking body. You are, matter of fact, somebody probably already came in your life and you mistreated that person. Uh, I dated. I dated. You don't know how to handle me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bitch, what is you? That's that, see, what you gotta handle a bitch, right? Yeah, yeah. Shit. So yeah. the that, bitch handler. Yeah. Well, I think is what's craziest to me is, bro, when you you meet these women and their energy ain't right. That's a red flag. That's when not, a bitch is constantly nine talking. Nine out of ten. When a bitch constantly talking about I, 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 this, and this is what I got to do, and this, and this, and that. Like, it ain't nothing about how's your day or yeah. what, what's up with you and what like you got going Like, it's a pleasure. On. Like, it's a pleasure for you to be in her presence. Yeah. Like, that like, little bitch told me, you know what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to let you take me out to dinner. You ain't going to let me do shit, you gonna bitch. Let, let you You're going to be at dinner by your goddamn self fucking with me. But you know what, though? When you, uh, let's say you take a chick out, right? And she start ordering the highest shit on the menu And you know she don't eat that shit What you do is You say oh damn girl, Order what you want You know what I'm saying Do your thing You go to the bathroom Use the bathroom Leave that bitch in there. Oh yeah I will I'm quick on some shit like that I had a bitch do that Order something and But I say a doggy let, bag And I'm saying Looking at this bitch like Yo are you serious Let them bring the food first Let them bring the food first I'll be right back Taste Mm, you gotta you gotta look happy because they sit they catch you on the shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> they, you, they bring they bring your goddamn cheese sticks and something like that. You mm, oh yeah they, yeah you you say some marinara or something. Mm, I gotta go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Leave that bitch in there. She can't leave. If she do, she left the food. That shit's gonna hurt. <laughs> now, bitch, you thought you came up, huh? <laughs> Well, I, it's like that entitlement shit is a disease, and that's 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 one that got to be a, one of our topics too, bro. Because like I don't I don't know. I'm just living life. I'm enjoying. It. I ain't got no titles on no shit. I'm just cool. You know what I mean? I'm focused on my talent and everything I got to do. You know what I mean? The next situation and keeping my energy right for the next uh, season that's coming towards me. Because it ain't this shit ain't slowing down. It ain't getting no worse. It's only getting better. There you go. Yeah, I stay focused, man. Yeah. Like a lot of motherfuckers, when they when they be on the up, when they on it going up, they always grab some luggage. Yeah, I don't get that. Like, why would you grab a chick who's with who comes along when you on your way up? Mm. That don't even make sense. You was, know what I mean? Just because she's fine or some too. fuck the vibe, bitch. Wait till yeah. you know you get you something going on or something like that. Don't just come around when I get something going on. 
You know what I'm saying? I've been struggling by myself. Ain't nobody want to give me no chance. Then I start coming up. Now here comes Miss Perfect. She perfect because she see the potential of what I'm, I'm about to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? But see, uh, men like don't dude, do that, that shit. That little geek you was talking about the other day. He got a pretty ass Don't even say his name. <laughs> I know. You know how we <laughs> did. You know that bitch don't like that nigga. Hey, he got man. on TV. And now he got a fucking girlfriend, man. Hey, she don't like that little hey, bit of nigga, man. Don't fall for the bullshit. Just get that pussy. Oh, you fall for it. it. Nigga probably crying in there. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga ain't beating that shit up. Nigga. Oh, it's so wet. Oh shit! Hey man, it's all like, part uh, of the territory. Dude from the um, dude, you heard Delicious getting married to one of the dudes from the um, what's that shit? Delicious, the red bone one yeah. with all the cuts on her body. Yeah, she got that shit fixed. The keloids. Yeah, one of the dudes from that uh, got that settlement that got locked up for a minute. Oh, uh, she about to marry one of the boys that not them niggas got mental issues. Yeah, the niggas who. Yeah, that shit ain't, they not normal. They cool, but they not normal. All of them moved to Atlanta. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, the something, the something, what is it? The something. The little short, fat, seven, white skin nigga. They locked up a lot yeah, of Yeah, the seven, yeah. The motherfucker. Brooklyn Seven, the man. Well, uh, the, uh, that park where that white lady said somebody raped her and they just yeah, took the little the kids. Park Seven, yeah. Yeah, they took the little kids in, man. That's some horrible shit. You just want to close the case. God, man, man, fuck the police for that shit. I'm trying to stick nigga. me for murder when I was young with that shit, man. Just, just admit you what is in it. I'm not admitting shit, cracker. Fuck apart my face. I remember that cracker sitting there telling me, just say. I'm not saying shit. You saying say cracker? You trying to fuck my life up? You don't give a fuck. I'm an honor roll student. No matter what you thought, <laughs> <laughs> I am getting the motherfucking grade. Who are you to talk to me because I'm a young black male in the neighborhood with a 38 on my hip when you pulled me over? So what I tried to run and throw the gun and you got it? That ain't the murder weapon. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm an honor roll student. Yeah, you give me my grade. Jack. They had my ass hemmed up. I never forget that though. Boy. They do turn up that AC. So tell us what you know. I know nothing. I probably was on the first 48 at a young age before the first 48. Nah, they don't put episodes when you don't snitch on the first 48. Oh, man. Now, they had one nigga that held out all the way to the end. That's one nigga. They that has, one nigga. They got to be an affirmative action. <laughs> but everybody's telling on each other. That's that's what make everybody else tell on each other. Like, they it's okay. Like Look, nigga, huh? this guy, you seen that shit when uh, the first 48 episode, when dude was in there, it was like, you know such and such? He was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Did you get in a gunfight with him? Yeah, I did. You know, you know, I shot at him. You know what I'm saying? You know he died. Man, stop playing. Man, that man did not die, man. Bro! Oh, shit! That nigga did not die, man. That nigga started hugging his sister and everything. Like, oh, shit! Damn, I know I killed the nigga, man. <laughs> I ain't mean to do that shit, man. We were just shooting it up. Man, what the fuck? We don't trip. We don't trip on the bullshit. It's all a part of life. It's all in how you live your life to the fullest, though, man. Just I don't know fall, I ain't never gonna uh, admit that shit. Just don't fall short to the circumstances that life might issue you. You know what I mean? Stand strong, cause uh, they just like that. In that court of law, for some reason, they just like sticking shit to us as black men. We can't do nothing. We can't do nothing right. You feel me? Man, Even if it's you, dealing with our women. You know what I mean? Man, they cater to the women. Yeah, but like even, even over us, I would say. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That's why you do your shit and you ski die at them, nigga. Make them niggas work. Ski die at them. You hear me? You do what you do. Don't sit around, nigga. That's neither here nor there. That's brought to you by Cognac Commercial. Uh, we everywhere, you never there. Cognac Boys Podcast. We drank the finest of the finest liquors. This has been Cognac Boys uh, episode season three. Episode three. This will be coming to you soon. I'm Cognac Boy Fredo Davis. And I'm Cognac Boy Ron the Don. And this has been the Cognac Boys Podcast. See you next episode.